Hi folks, uh, welcome back. Um, today what we're going to be doing is a little bit on conics as you can see and specifically the hyperbola. And what we're going to be doing as well is two methods to get the hyperbolic curve. One which is the generator method and the other one which is the horizontal cuts method. A little 3D graphic up here and I will go to that just to refer to the, the odd time as I'm doing the question. So the question entails we are given an elevation up here of a cone. Uh, with a vertical cut uh, passing through it, so it's obviously it's not a, an inclined cut, it's vertically up, it's perpendicular to the horizontal plane. And in plan view, we are also given the projections of that cone uh, once again with the cut uh, passing through it as well, the vertical cut slicing down through it. When that vertical cut slices through it, it generates a hyperbolic curve. And the only way we can see the true shape of that hyperbolic curve is to uh, look at it in this direction, perpendicular to the face of it. And perpendicular to the face of it will be the direction my pen is facing right there. So what we're actually going to do is a little bit of orthographic projection and we are going to construct an end elevation over here. And in that end elevation, we are going to get the true shape of the cut surface here. Okay, and the two methods I'm actually going to use, and I will explain to them both of it, uh, or later on, uh, I'm going to use the generator method and the horizontal cuts method. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed ahead here, and I am going to do the end elevation just of the cone before I have any uh, cuts put in. Okay. Okay, um, as we can see, I have now got the end elevation put in here, and if we just revert to our graphic over here, we can see obviously that we have a horizontal plane, which is in the little green plane. On that plane there, technically the horizontal plane, we see the, uh, the cone as a circle when we look down on top of it. In the vertical plane, we see the uh, elevation, and this one here will be known as the end vertical plane. So I'll actually just put that in, and the end vertical plane will be E V P. Okay, and we can obviously see the projections on each one of them. So we can see obviously the triangle here, the triangle here that is generated by the cone when we look at it in this direction. This direction gives it on the vertical plane, and when we look down on top of it, it gives the projections of a circle. Okay, and what we have to do is we are trying to essentially, and I'm just going to sketch this in here nice and quickly now, so bear with me a second, I'll speed up the video. Okay, so what we're actually trying to do here is we are trying to uh, get the true shape of the hyperbolic curve as we can see here. You see everyone can see this red plane here when that is cutting through this cone. Now obviously that's going to cut through and it's going to generate some form of a curve in here which is going to be a hyperbola. What we have to do is we have to get the true shape of that hyperbola and we can see when we look in this direction because we're perpendicular to this face here, this plane, because we are perpendicular to that, then the actual true shape will be generated on the end vertical plane. So that's why we actually uh, are getting an end view or an end elevation over here. Now, I'm going to start off by doing the first method here, which is the generator method. And I'm going to focus on, we can see obviously the cut is in this section here. So straight away I actually have three points here that I can actually locate straight away. Well, the top of the hyperbolic curve would be actually the apex, which would be located up here. So straight away, the apex is actually going to be located right in the middle. So I can actually transfer that straight across there straight away. And that there is one point found already. That actually there is the top of it, which would be known as my vertex. So I'll signify that with a V. Also, we have two points that are on the base, which are on the ground, which we can see here in plan. This is one. And here is another. And once again, you can transfer both them up and they will be on the ground. Okay. And at that point now, I actually have three points on my hyperbolic curve. And the curve we can imagine is going to be going in somewhere like this. 
Okay, but what I'm going to do for one half is the generator method, and for the other half is the horizontal cuts method. Okay, so starting off the generator method. Now, when we think of cones, uh, cones are often generated by, if you can imagine, a string with maybe uh, a weight on the end of it. So if I was to hold this pen upside down, now that pen, if we imagine that as a string, and this was the apex of a cone. And if I was holding this in position, and if it was like a string, and I literally pushed it, it would revolve around, and it would generate a cone in that shape. It's actually generating a cone, okay? Possibly not the best explanation there, but the idea is looking down on top of it, tilt it out, and it's rotating around, and that's the shape it generates, okay? So in plan, obviously, we see it as a circle. But those generators are essentially lines on the outside that are running all the way around from start to finish. So if I started here and I revolved it around, it would go all the way around until it finished back up here. And that's what generates the shape. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to pick some various points on the base of the cone, and they are going to be our generator points. And I'm going to focus on this half of it up here. So this portion of the hyperbolic curve. And then for the second half, as I said, I'm going to do the generator method. So what I'll do is I'm going to pick a point roughly here. Let's try and space them out here. And here. Okay. And um, what I will do is those generators are all connected to the apex. Which when we look down on top of the plan is our center of our circle. Now, very important, all those are different generators. And every one of these points here is actually on the ground because we can see they're on the circumference of the circle and the circumference of the circle is actually the base of the cone. So, where they are hitting the ground, I can transfer them up to my elevation And one will be there, the next one will be here, and the final one is here. And like we'd had in plan, they all go to the apex, and the apex in elevation is up here. So the exact same thing, transfer them up, Now, at this point, what we have found is actually where those generators are cutting through this cutting plane here, okay? And they are cutting through in plan view here, here, and here, okay? And it's the case then of if they are cutting there in plan, well, how can we locate them over here? So, simple orthographic at this stage. If this one here is cutting in plan at this point, transfer it over. The exact same. And if I wanted to find this one up here in my end elevation, well, it has to correspond with this generator. So follow the generator. It's here. Follow it up. And it's cutting through the plane right there in that position. So in that position there, this is where I would travel or transfer it across. And once again, follow it with this generator here, transfer it up. And there we go. We have located a point on our hyperbolic curve. I'll do the exact same with this one. Okay? So, follow the generator, follow the generator. It's hitting here. Transfer it across. Somewhere inside here is going to be the point in there somewhere. And it was here in my plan view, or it's here, transfer it up. There's my next point. And finally, the last one I will work out is this one here, which came from this generator. And we're down there, which is this point, transfer it up. And there we go. And what we have got there now is half of our hyperbolic curve. So I'm going to sketch that in 
very quickly. Okay, there is half of our hyperbolic curve based on the generator method. Now, another method that we could actually use is also the horizontal cuts method, okay? And now, just for a second, I'm going to try and uh, make you visualize this. But if we were to cut a cone perfectly parallel with the XY line, and we were to cut it, what that would actually generate when we look down on top of the plan is essentially another circle. Because if I was to, for sake of it here, if I was to cut horizontal cut straight across like that, well, it's cutting here and here. And if I was to transfer that down to my plan, what we would see on top of here is essentially another circle. And what we can actually do is we can apply that method to locate points along this here. So what I actually want to do is for the second half of it here is I'm going to apply that principle, the horizontal cuts here to find points on this half of the hyperbolic curve. Okay, so the way to do that is it's essentially about drawing circles. So from the apex of my cone, which is located by the center of my circle and plan, I'm going to pick various points on this. I'm going to pick a point here. I'm going to pick a point, I'll try and space them out evenly enough here and here. So from the center to this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it up here, like that. And at this point here, I have rotated the point about this. If I was to continue that around, as I said, you have to imagine it was a horizontal cut, it would, ex it would uh, generate another circle on top of the cone. But we're stopping it here at this point. And the reason we are stopping it there at that point is because this edge here, from the apex down to here, is signified by this line here in elevation, the apex down to the edge of the cone, because that is known as what is your extreme generator. And for the sake of it, I'm actually just going to put it in as blue. So it's very important. That line there, that blue line, is what's known as our extreme generator. Okay, that extreme generator is actually a true length of our generators altogether. That length there from the apex down to here is actually a true length of all of these actual generators. Now, what I have done is, with this point, I have rotated around until it hit on the extreme generator. So if I have it done in plan, I need to bring it up to my elevation and find where it hits on the elevation. It hit here on the extreme generator in plan. So to where it hits on the elevation is right up here. Okay. Now, where it hits there on elevation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it across. And somewhere along that height is going to be my point on this half of it, obviously, because we're working on this side now. And if you remember where my original point in plan was, it was right here. I'm going to transfer that and transfer it up to my elevation. End elevation, apologies. And I have now located another point on my hyperbolic curve. Okay, so we're going to repeat the steps again. From the center, here's my next point right here in this position. Rotate it around until it hits the extreme generator. Where it hits the extreme generator, transfer it up to the elevation. Where it hits it on elevation, transfer it across. Somewhere along here is going to be my point. And my point that I picked in plan and I chose it, because I know that is a part of the curve, only we see it as a line view in plan, or an edge view. And I'm going to transfer that up. No, here. 
and I have located my second point. And finally, I will get the last one, which is this one, for the exact same method. Once again, transfer it up to the elevation. Where it hits here in the elevation, transfer it across, and in plan view, it's here, and once again, transfer it back up. And once again, we have found another point. So very quickly, I'm going to sketch in the rest of my hyperbolic curve. Okay. So as we can see now, we have clearly identified our hyperbola and um, we did it uh, through two methods. The first method being the generator method and the second method being the horizontal cuts method. Now if I just take you over to our little 3D graphic here, we can essentially see, and I'll try and put it in as best I can, and I'll sketch it there very quickly. So we can see there, now, that vertical cutting plane has generated our hyperbola. And that hyperbola is what we would see here, obviously, in the 3D graphic. And back over here, then, we would see something kind of like this, obviously, if I was to bring it back. And there we go. And essentially, this is what we have over here on our orthographic projection. We have our elevation with the vertical cutting plane as a line view. Uh, same with the plan, but when we looked perpendicular to that uh, cutting plane, uh, it generated the true shape of it over here. And essentially, all we did was orthographic projection. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, that was the generator method and the horizontal cutting method. Okay.